Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about another problem that we got from Hong Kong Mass Olympiad from 2019. In this problem, we have an expression written as x cubed plus 2 times x squared plus 3 times x plus 4 and we know a, b and c are roots of this expression. Knowing that a, b and c are roots of this expression, we want to find a to the power of 4 minus 1 times b to the power of 4 minus 1 times c to the power of 4 minus 1. Before moving forward to talk about the solution, make sure that you pause the video to think about this problem. To solve this problem, we are going to start with an expression that we have. One of the terms that we have in the final expression is a to the power of 4 minus 1. Let's start to simplify it a little bit more. Remember, we have a squared minus b squared is equal to a minus b times a plus b. With this, we can simplify a to the power of 4 minus 1 and write it as a to the power of 2 minus 1 times a to the power of 2 plus 1. If we use the identity again, then we can simplify a squared minus 1 and write it as a minus 1 times a plus 1. And we can do the same idea and simplify a squared plus 1 and write it as a minus i times a plus i. Remember, i squared is equal to minus 1 here. Now let's use the same approach for b to the power of 4 minus 1 and c to the power of 4 minus 1. Here we wrote a to the power of 4 minus 1 as p, b to the power of 4 minus 1 as q, and c to the power of 4 minus 1 as r to be able to simplify the problem a little bit more. Before taking further steps, let's review the expression that we had. We had x to the power of 3 plus 2x squared plus 3x plus 4 and we knew a, b, c are roots of this expression. Let's use f of x for this expression. Then you can simply see that if we multiply p by q by r, we are going to have the expression that we are asked to evaluate, which is a to the power of 4 minus 1 times b to the power of 4 minus 1 times c to the power of 4 minus 1. On the other hand, we will have a minus 1 times b minus 1 times c minus 1. You can simply see that the multiplication of a minus 1, b minus 1, and c minus 1 is going to be f of 1. We also have a plus 1 times b plus 1 times c plus 1. And this is just f of minus 1. We can use the same idea and write a minus i times b minus i times c minus i as f of i and finally a plus i times b plus i times c plus i as f of minus i. So clearly p times q times r which is the expression that we are supposed to evaluate is equal to f of 1 times f of minus 1 times f of i times f of minus i. Now we have f of x as x cubed plus 2x squared plus 3x plus 4. And we want to find f of 1 times f of minus 1 times f of i times f of minus i. So we just use these values inside f and then we will find the final answer that we have which is 160. And that's our answer. Thanks for watching the video. If you would like to see more puzzles and math involved activities, please subscribe to the channel.